welcome to skincare queen youtube channel in this video i'm going to briefly discuss with you the importance of ph in your skincare product i know we all use different skincare products especially the ones that appeals to us so first before i go in depth into ph i want to show you how to check the ph of your skincare product a lot of us use skincare product without necessarily checking the pH and this is very very wrong so the best way to check the pH of any product is to use a pH strip even though it may not be 100% accurate right but pH strip can give you an idea of how alkaline or how acidic your skincare products are you might have wondered why you use some skincare product and um, it ends up either damaging your skin or drying it out. It's because of the pH. The ideal pH of the skin is between 4.3, 4 4.5 to 5.5. So anything within that, between that range uh, will make your skin rather unhappy. It can ring, uh, cause wrinkle. It can cause uh, extreme dryness. So because we don't want this, that's why I bring this video to your attention. As a skincare formulator with several years of experience, I've seen a lot of clients, even friends and family members, complaining about having dry skin. The, the culprit here is the pH of the, of the skincare product. So have you really checked the pH of your skincare product? If you have not, I hope this video will help you out. So the first thing I'm going to do is to demonstrate to you exactly how to check the pH of your skincare product. So the first thing you do is to take less, for instance, I'm going to check this Aveeno baby. Remember the ideal pH for any skincare product apart from serum or exfoliants or acid peel is uh, between 4.5 and 5.5. So if you keep it within that range, your skin will be happy and uh, everything will be all right. But if anything is higher or lower, then it's uh, dangerous. So. Uh, let's quickly check the pH of Avino baby daily lotion. So you need a weight. I have an instruction in the description box below. A link in the description box below to where you can get any of this uh, product to use. So I have a weight here, a weight here, a small um, measuring thing. Then you put any any measuring uh, cup you have or any anything that can measure for you. You make sure you turn it on and I'm going to put it in tear, in tear. It's in gram. So I'm going to take one gram of this uh, Avino baby lotion. Okay, I have 1.1 gram. It's not that bad. So I'm going to add water to it to make it 10 gram. So basically one in one ratio one to nine. Okay, so one gram of water then 10 gram of uh, one gram of your lotion then 10 gram of distilled water so we're going to put distilled water to it to make it up to 10 grams perfect so the next thing we will do is to mix it together to make sure it dissolves a bit okay want to make sure it dissolves a bit so we're going to mix that lotion or whatever it is together to the essence of this is to check the pH of this cream to make sure it's uh, within the acceptable range for our little baby skin you can do this to any other product that you are using just to keep yourself safe if you notice you are having too much of dryness then the pH of your Skincare product is um, maybe too low or maybe too high, depending on the purpose of that. So after this, you take out your pH strip. Um, in this pH strip, you're going to have the full instruction here. So this is showing us that. Uh, this color is pH five, blah, blah, blah. so we want to make sure it is at least at this five at this five stage. 
we don't want it to go up to seven or up to eight or even up to six so in between this is fine five and five point five or preferably four point five to five so just make sure the you mix this very well okay now you take your strip you dip it inside strip i'm not really accurate sometimes that's why i'm going to you're going to see me verify this with a ph meter okay so this is the issue i have with strip you can see this color right now it looks more like six it looks look more like five it looks as a professional skincare um, uh, formulator right i have my ph strip so just to confirm to make sure everything is alright, I have my pH strip. I have a link in the description box below for where uh, I have my pH meter. I mean, not pH. So I just use pH strip, and I have no clue what that is. It's telling me is it that uh, in between five and six, but I'm not sure. This even looks like seven, right? So let's just confirm with my pH meter. This pH meter is uh, very very affordable. Uh, you can find a link in the description box below for where to get it. And when you get it, how to all the information on how you can uh, you can calibrate it uh, is there. So let's check, let's check to make sure. So you turn it on, then you put it in, and uh, it's showing me four point nine. So you're going to I'm going to wait until that uh, little arrow here stops that will tell me the final ph of this avino baby lotion you want to make sure it's within the uh, acceptable range of 4.5 okay to 5.5 that is the range that is acceptable for the skin okay uh, so far so good it's still um I just give it a few more minutes to see what it comes up with. So you can see the pH is. I forgot to take it out. So the pH is at least 4.8. Okay, so that's perfect for the skin to be happy. It has to be between 4.5 and 5.5. So. We give it to Avino baby. They have a very uh, good pH for the skin. So this is very good for your baby skin. You have nothing to worry about. Note, this is not a paid, paid advertisement. No, no, I have no clue who they have. Okay, but from my home checkpoint, the pH of Avino baby is four point, between 4.8 and 4.9. Okay, now I'm going to move further to check Avino baby shampoo okay um the best uh ph for a shampoo for a uh, ph balance shampoo is four point um, it's 5.5 for a ph balance shampoo but well because it's the hair right or well, because this is for wash and shampoo meaning you can use it on the body you can use it on the hair so it's likely to be between four point uh it's between 4.5 and uh, five points so let's check again we're going to follow the same procedure take your away your scale okay turn it on i have a link in the description box uh, for where you can get uh, all this so that you we are on the same page please bear with me as i adjust my as i adjust my okay so let's go we well, have it you put you press tear you put it in then you're going to put press tear also is it gram i'm going to make sure is uh we put in one gram okay one gram i have 1.8 so i'm going to reduce it slightly i'll take some out just to make sure my reading is accurate because it's one in nine. It has to be one in nine to be accurate. 
should have 1.5 1.3 Okay, I'm okay at that 1.2 mark. Okay, I'm okay at that 1.2 mark. So I'm going to take water, put in water to make it to make that 1.2 up to 10. Okay, 10.7. So I'm going to mix it well. Let's move this away. But this is how you check the pH of your so you, to have peace of mind so as to protect your skin off when you need to do that. So we turn it on. Um, let's check the pH of Avino Baby Shampoo Wash and Shampoo. Remember, we want to make sure it's within the acceptable range for the skin, which is 4.5 to 5.5. Okay, so it's 4.6. So that's okay for baby gentle skin. 4.6 is okay. Not too high, not too low. Just perfect for the baby, baby skin. So this is how you check the pH of your skincare product. Now, you ask me, why do you have to go through all this stress? I'm telling you, there are lots and lots of skincare products out there. And as a formulator, before I release any skincare product to the market, I have to make sure it's pH balanced and it won't affect my client's, uh, my client or customer's skin. I have a reputation to, to protect so I make sure it's pH balanced. If you're using any skincare product that's drying you out and you are really worried as to what's going on, it's highly essential that you get yourself a pH meter or you can at least get a pH strip. But the problem with pH strip is that it's not that accurate. But if you have yourself a pH meter, you know you can use it for a long time and uh, we'll be able to check the pH of your skin. Now, before I go forward, I want to tell you the danger of using a skincare product that have a low pH or too high pH. Okay, so the first thing I want you to know is that pH is called a potential hydrogen. Okay, it refers to the acid or alkaline ratio of a substance you know including the food we eat even and the skincare products so your skin itself the natural ph as i said before of the skin is between 4.5 and 5.5 okay and uh, from zero to seven zero okay is uh zero is the most acidic why seven is the neutral no we all know this from high school why 14 is the most alkaline Okay. so that means our skin okay is on the acidic side we are on the acidic side of the equation remember 4.5 okay and the ph starts from 0 to 14 7 being neutral you don't want neutral our skin is to be, to be healthy it has to be acidic okay so first reason why our skin is a bit acidic is to pr protect us okay against you know external foreign elements that can uh, can attack our skin and affect us in the long run so you know it's a perfect uh, way god uh, created us so it keeps out all germs bacteria it keeps them away from the skin that's why it's very very acidic now if you use skincare products that are too alkaline right it's you are you are subjecting yourself to having so many bad is it bad aching, wrinkles, pimples, breakout? So this is why most people are having this issue. They are having breakout issue because they use too much. Excuse me, please. They use too much alkaline product. Okay, they are not. The skincare, the skincare product they're using is not balanced for that of the skin, and it causes a lot, a lot. I mean, a lot of mess. So that being said make sure you know the ph of the skincare product you are using do not just use any skincare product without knowing the ph if you buy any skincare product uh, online or offline wherever and you notice it's breaking your heart or it's drying your heart the first thing you want to know is uh, is to know the ph once you check the ph 
and you notice is the pH that's the problem, then you have to stop using that skincare product. Also, I want to let you know that there are lots and millions of skincare products out there, and um, it's crazy how uh, the skincare industry that is not well regulated is uh, perhaps ripping people off some, not all, skincare line. So you have to be careful of skincare products that you use. That a product is expensive doesn't mean it's the best for you. So please and please watch out uh, on this channel. I will be recommending skincare products that I use for you, but I just it's not it's not sponsored video. It's just something that I want to tell you. And uh, this is the product I use and why I use them. And uh, I have so many ideas. I have so many suggestions, but I want to take you one step at a time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question on where to get this, uh, and I recommend this Hana pH meter. It's very affordable, so you can make sure you have one at home, especially to make sure you keep your safety. Also, before I go for the one to lay that if you're using a serum, serum oftentimes have pH that is also on the high side. So serum, because serum works very, because serum works very different from other skincare products. Uh, you might notice that your serum has a pH of six or uh, even six point something so that's a bit acceptable because serum is something you use first before you use a moisturizer so i'm going to be telling you more about that so don't forget get yourself a ph meter even at least if you cannot afford a ph meter now get a ph strip it, now the question with ph strip is that you won't be able to know the proper ph for instance the the shampoo we just checked now okay if I'm to use a pH strip to check it, right? See what it gave me. See how how yellow it is. It didn't change. So it's tell though, this one is a bit perfect. It didn't change. So sometimes when it you notice it didn't change like this, so that means the pH it's okay. Okay, it's okay. Maybe it's five or something. Or I'm not. That's why sometimes you just adjust as a skincare formulator. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. I have to make sure I get my pH strip to get the exact, the most accurate pH. I hope this video has helped you out. Remember, don't just use any skincare product. If you're curious, uh, some skincare line will tell you the pH on the bottle. But most people do not. Most of this company don't anymore because they feel like, you know what, it's okay. We, we're, I think we are fine. We have already checked it. That's our job. People don't have to know. So. Just make sure you know the pH. If I'm, if I'm you, as curious as I could be, you need to just check the pH to make sure it's within the acceptable range of 4.5 and 5.5 to keep your skin healthy. Remember, an, uh, an acidic skin is the best. It works off bacteria germs that can cause you a lot of stress, that can cause you a, a lot of uh, skincare woes. Okay, so you need to pay close attention to the pH of your skin so next time you are buying your skincare products make sure you get a ph3 from the store try if you cannot afford this still get ph3 because when you put it in and the color remains the same that means still is okay for your skin it's safe so that's the good side of using a ph3 but if you want to know the exact ph you need to get yourself a ph meter most ph meter comes with instruction okay so uh, when you have the ph when you know the ph of your skin skincare product you know it takes out the uh, guesswork out of um, the skincare product that, that works best for you. So just make sure you know the pH level of the skincare you're using. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any question, drop it in the comment box below. Uh, and I'll answer you at my highest convenience. Thanks for watching today. Remember, stay safe, a happy skin. And I see this skin is a happy skin. Thanks so much for watching.